Welcome to Freightways weather for your Tuesday. Hope you've had a good week so far. We have a lot more severe storms to talk about today. Not across the entire United States, of course, but they've already been rumbling across parts of the Midwest, Minnesota, and also down into parts of Iowa. But that severe threat is gonna to shift to some fairly larger metropolitan areas as we go through the rest of today. So really this whole area here that's shaded in the yellow, as well as this inner circle here that's shaded in the orange, that's where they've seen already a lot of severe storms today. And this is where the best chances for more severe storms today are going to happen and into this evening. So the threat this afternoon and also into the evening hours will uh, shift to Chicago, Indianapolis, uh, cities like that down towards St. Louis. And then after dark, especially, that's where we're going to see the threat uh, really start to fade. But from around uh, noontime today, around midday into the early evening, that's where we're going to see the severe uh, threat shift to those areas. There could be some storms popping up in parts of the northeast. Most of those won't be severe. So that's the good news. Now we're going to talk about heat. Still a lot of excessive heat with temperatures way, way up in the mid and upper 90s. Heat index of 105 to 115 from areas like Oklahoma City up towards Tulsa, down across much of Texas, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and many other spots across the plains, as well as the southwest from Phoenix, Yuma, all the way up into southeastern California, Las Vegas area. Temperatures themselves will be up to about 110, 115 degrees, maybe even 120 in several spots. And these temperatures, uh, believe it or not, for this time of the year in that part of the country are several degrees above normal. And they had a big uh, heat wave out there last week. They got a break for a few days and now all the intense heat's coming back. There'll be another pocket of intense heat up around the Philadelphia metro area along the I-95 corridor as well. So uh, drivers, just be careful. Spend as little time outside your truck as possible in those parts of the country. That heat can really take a toll on you pretty quickly if you're stuck outside. Third thing we're gonna talk about today, down in Florida, there's gonna be, again, another kind of concentrated area where there might be some flooding along the I-75 and I-10 corridors uh, from around Tallahassee and then down towards the Tampa metro area. So the ground is really, really saturated. Those soils across much of Florida, they've had a lot of rain, well above average rain the past few weeks. So there might be at least some localized flash flooding that takes place with some of those pop-up thunderstorms this afternoon and this evening along I-10 and I-75. So there might be a few uh, ramps or secondary roads that end up being closed here and there. Those are the three things you need to know about for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day and be careful out there.